The Mersey tribe is an ancient culture that has been around for centuries in Ethiopia. Located in the Omo Valley, they are renowned for their unique and fascinating tradition. The Mersey tribe's culture and history are filled with hidden gems that offer a glimpse into the past. From their traditional clothing to their age-old rituals, exploring the Mersey tradition can be a truly eye-opening experience. Get ready to discover all the hidden gems of Mersey tradition. History of the Mersey tribe the history of the Mersey tribe is rich and captivating, dating back centuries in Ethiopia. The Mersey tribe culture has been passed down from generation to generation, keeping alive their ancient traditions and way of life. The origins of the Mersey tribe can be traced back to the Sudanese region, where they are believed to have migrated before settling in the Omo Valley. Throughout Mersey history, the tribe has faced numerous challenges and undergone various changes. They had experienced encounters with neighboring tribes and even European explorers, which have influenced their culture to some extent. However, despite these external influences, the Mersey tribe culture has managed to retain its distinct identity and practices. One of the most notable aspects of Mersey history is their reliance on cattle herding and agriculture as a means of sustenance. The tribe has perfected the art of survival in the challenging terrain of the Omo Valley, where resources are scarce. Overall, the Mercy tribe's culture and history are a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the people. By delving into their past, we can gain a deeper appreciation for their unique way of life and the hidden gems that make up the Mercy tradition. Location and Settlements Located in the remote Omo Valley of Ethiopia, the Mercy tribe has created a unique settlement that perfectly aligns with their way of life. The tribe's settlements are typically found near the banks of the Omo River, where they have access to water for their daily needs. These settlements consist of small huts made of branches, leaves, and mud, known as dongas. The strategic location of the Mercy tribe's settlements plays a crucial role in their survival and cultural practices. It allows them to maintain their traditional lifestyle and protect themselves from external influences. Additionally, being close to the river enables them to engage in activities like fishing and watering their livestock. Dressing and body modifications Dressing and body modifications play a significant role in the Mersey tribe's cultural identity and self-expression. Throughout Mersey history, their unique fashion and body adornments have captivated outsiders and intrigued researchers. When it comes to dressing, the Mersey people have a distinct style. Women typically wear animal hide skirts adorned with colorful beads and shells, while men opt for simple loincloths. What truly sets the Mercy tribe apart is their striking lip plates. This practice, known as elaborate piercing, involves gradually stretching the lower lip to accommodate a decorative clay or wooden plate. Lip plates are considered a symbol of beauty and status in Mercy culture, and the size of the plate is often an indicator of a woman's social standing. Social structure and gender roles Social structure and gender roles within the Mercy tribe are unique and fascinating aspects of their culture. The tribe has a hierarchical social structure that revolves around extended family units and clans. At the center of the Mercy social structure are elders who hold significant influence and decision-making power within the community. Gender roles within the Mercy tribe are largely traditional and patriarchal. Men are primarily responsible for herding livestock, while women take on the role of household management and childcare. However, women also play a crucial role in the tribe's economic activities, such as farming and crafting. Despite the traditional gender roles, most women possess a remarkable degree of autonomy and are active participants in decision-making processes. They are also known for their entrepreneurial spirit, engaging in trading and selling their handicrafts. Religion and Beliefs the religion and beliefs of the Mercy tribe are deeply rooted in their cultural heritage and shape many aspects of their daily lives. The Mercy people practice a traditional form of animism, which is the belief that everything in nature has a spirit. They believe in a powerful and omnipresent higher power, known as Tumwi, who is responsible for all natural phenomena. Central to Mercy religious practices are ceremonies and rituals that seek to establish and maintain a harmonious relationship with the spiritual world. These rituals often involve offerings, sacrifices, and prayers to honor and appease the spirits. The Mercy people believe that failure to uphold these traditions and practices can result in misfortune and disease. The Mercy also place great importance on ancestral worship. They believe that their ancestors continue to watch over and guide them, and they regularly seek their advice and blessings. Language and Communication 
Language and communication are essential components of any culture, and the Mercy tribe is no exception. The Mercy people have a unique language that is part of their cultural heritage and identity. Their language, also called Mercy, belongs to the Somic language family and is spoken primarily within the tribe. Mercy is a complex and rich language with its own grammar, vocabulary, and phonetics. It is characterized by distinct tonal patterns which add depth and nuance to communication. Through their language, the Mercy tribe expresses their thoughts, emotions, and cultural traditions, arts and crafts. When it comes to arts and crafts, the Mercy tribe is known for their exceptional talent and creativity. Their craftsmanship is truly remarkable and showcases their deep connection to their cultural heritage. From pottery and weaving to intricate beadwork, the Mercy people have mastered a wide range of artistic disciplines. Pottery holds a special place in the Mercy tradition, with their pottery creations serving both functional and decorative purposes. Their pottery is adorned with intricate designs, reflecting the tribe's appreciation for aesthetics and attention to detail. Each piece tells a story and carries a piece of Mercy's history. Weaving is another prominent art form in Mercy culture. The tribe's skilled weavers create beautiful textiles using traditional methods and materials. The vibrant colors and patterns of their textiles reflect the rich cultural tapestry of the Mercy tribe. Cuisine and traditional food. When it comes to exploring the hidden gems of Mercy tradition, we can't forget about their cuisine and traditional food. The Mercy tribe has a unique and fascinating culinary heritage that reflects their connection to the land and the resources it provides. Cuisine in the Mercy tribe centers around the staple foods of the region, which includes sorghum, maize, and root vegetables. The tribe's traditional diet is predominantly plant-based, supplemented with milk and meat from their livestock. One of the most iconic dishes of the Mercy tribe is called beso. Beso is a fermented sorghum porridge that is often enjoyed with milk and honey. It has a tiny and slightly sour flavor that is distinct from the Mercy culture. Threats and challenges faced by the Mercy tribe. The Mercy tribe, like many indigenous cultures around the world, faces a range of threats and challenges that put their traditional way of life at risk. One of the primary threats comes from the encroachment of modernization and external influences. Increased contact with the outside world has brought about changes in the Mercy tribe's lifestyle and values. This has led to the erosion of their traditional practices and cultural identity. Environmental factors also pose a significant challenge to the Mercy tribe. The Omo Valley, their ancestral home, is facing environmental degradation due to deforestation, climate change, and overgrazing. These factors have a direct impact on the availability of resources, such as water and grazing land, which the tribe relies on for survival. Additionally, the Mercy tribe faces the threat of displacement and land grabbing. The Ethiopian government has undertaken large-scale development projects in the Omo Valley, which often involve the forced relocation of indigenous communities. This disrupts their traditional way of life and threatens their connection to their ancestral lands. Overall, the Mercy tribe is navigating a delicate balance between preserving their cultural heritage and adapting to a changing world. The threats and challenges they face are significant, but there is hope in the efforts of organizations and individuals working to protect their rights, preserve their land, and promote cultural resilience. It is crucial for us to recognize and support these efforts, ensuring that the hidden gems of the Mercy tradition continue to shine for generations to come.